Hey, heathens. Christmas time's just passed, coming up on the new year. Wait, what did I say? Christmas time just passed, coming up on the new year. Is that two holidays? I'm just wondering. Is that it? That's two holidays, right? Christmas and New Year's. Do Christians celebrate both of those? I'm pretty sure they do, right? Don't they? Yeah, pretty sure they do. So why in the hell are you so pissed off about somebody saying Happy Holidays? There's more than one. Happy Holidays. Not Happy Holiday. Happy Holidays. Just trying to wrap them all up together. That's where the phrase came from. It comes from the idea of the multiple holidays going on. You have Christmas, you have New Year's. Oh, wait. There's another one. Oh, look. There's Kwanzaa. There's Hanukkah. Include everybody. Happy Holidays. This is what you have a problem with. Christians. This is what you have a problem with? Including everyone? Your problem is including people in the holidays. War on Christmas? Come on. I've made a video about Christmas every year. This one's after Christmas, of course. Um, as we lead into the new year. And I'm doing it as a response video for Jesus Freak 777, who I've clashed with many times in the past. And, uh, you know, he's a nice fella, adorable daughter, cares about her a lot. You know, I'm, nothing against him and his daughter. But he made a video because his daughter asked him a question that he thought was so awesome and great. And nothing against her. She seems like a bright girl, but it's not all that awesome of a question. It's a very elementary question, and as a child of her age, it's understandable that she would ask the question, but your response to it was not so stellar. Why do atheists celebrate Christmas? You thought that it was perfectly reasonable for an atheist to celebrate a Christmas lunch if it's at his job, but not if it's at his family's house. How is there a distinction between those two in your mind? I'm just curious. If the rest of the people who I care about are having a lunch, I don't go because it centers around some Christian idea. I'm sorry, but that's just that's the that's one of the worst things I've heard, ever heard you say. It's so it's so it's beneath you to suggest that because my family is having a lunch, I wouldn't go simply because it's based around a Christian holiday. But wait a minute. It's not a Christian holiday. It's a pagan holiday that Christians hijacked. And you know that. You know that. I know that you know that. You and I have had this discussion before. I know you know that you stole the holiday. Jesus was not born on December the 25th. Ask any, any biblical scholar. Anyone who has finished seminary will tell you Jesus was not born December 25th. We, no way, there's no way it was December 20, uh, 25th, sorry, 20, 25th. No way. You hijacked the winter solstice. Okay, so what is the holiday? Get together with family, get together with friends, exchange gifts, exchange gifts. Where did this idea come from? Where in the Bible does it say to exchange gifts on Jesus' birthday? Nowhere. This was something that was brought in, was not popular, until Eisenhower. So think about that. Eisenhower. That's when this became popular. Did it exist before? Yeah, okay. But rare. Because it, Christmas was not a big holiday for Christians. Easter was. And now Easter's kind of like falling off to the side. Christmas is the big holiday. It was because of economic reasons that they pushed this concept of buy gifts for each other for Christmas. And it worked. And it stimulated the economy out of a bad, bad situation. And it does it year after year after year. And it's a great idea. So all of this Christian fight, all of this uproar over the commercialization of Christmas, it's the only reason the holiday exists. Study your own holidays. Study your history, people. Especially before you tell me that 
I have, I, I shouldn't celebrate Christmas because I don't believe in God. I believe in my brothers. I believe in my parents. I believe in my nieces and nephews. I believe in my children. Why would I not believe in spending time with them? Why would I not believe in showing them how much I care by giving them something? Why would I not do that? That's not a religious concept. That's a human concept. So before you get all worked up over happy holidays, remember, it's not the only one. You celebrate New Year's too. So happy holidays. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, but you still celebrate New Year's, happy New Year's and Hanukkah, happy holidays. Or Kwanzaa, happy holidays. Or if you're just happy to still be alive and making it through this crazy, crazy world we live on. Happy holidays. Don't take my word for it. Think for yourselves.